How are you? Welcome to uh, Tattoo Now TV. Um, what are we? This is Ian McCone. He's here Hello. with us uh, for our live interview. Um, so what are we doing here? We uh, uh, what is Tattoo Now TV? It's a, a video podcast that we're starting up. This is our third pilot. We're going to get it right this time. And uh, you know we're very lucky that uh, in our different businesses we work with hundreds of different uh, uh, tattooers, uh, connecting uh, clients uh, with uh, with fantastic tattooers. Um, and through this, uh, you know, we're able to hear a lot of amazing stories, um, learn a lot of lessons, and uh, this is our way of, uh, of bringing it out to the, to the Internet world. Um, the show is for you guys, so uh, please send us a feedback, uh, TattooNow at TattooNow.com. And uh, thanks for taking time out of your day to watch this. Hopefully uh, it'll be fun. Uh, why don't we get started? So you've been tattooing in the, in the you started in the Denver area back in. Uh... Yeah, I started um, nine years ago. Uh, as of uh, Monday, I think it was nine years, and I had no ambitions towards being a tattooist or a fine artist or anything. Um, I just happened to be someone that was getting tattooed quite a bit, mm -hmm. and um, eventually I had asked one of my tattooers like what it took. I was just sort of you know curious about uh, tattooing in general, and he kind of laid it out to me, and it sounded kind of interesting. So. Um, he said, you know, get some work together if I thought maybe I wanted to do it. And uh, I was able to get a small portfolio of, you know, really, really crappy drawings together. And uh, somehow got the job. And uh, it's been nine years. I, uh, before that, I was corporate. So, you know, I was wearing a tie and, and, and buttoning my shirts every day. And uh, I'd say now I don't actually own a single button up shirt, which is good. Huh. And uh, no ties. And nothing's wrong with them, of course. But uh, I'm dressing up for this. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm dressing up as well, I guess. <laughs> and uh, it's been good. Um, it's been good in a lot of ways beyond uh, just being able to, you know, do what we do, which is which is really a blessing, you know, to work with people and to, to like, literally, not to put too fine a point on it, to literally, you know, change someone's life in a lot of ways. Because regardless of, of any impact you may have on their life, they are going to wear this, you know, for the rest of the day. So that's pretty cool. How, how the yeah. Drew Morrison story started? Uh, how, how long ago? When you when when you uh, started tattooing? How'd you get into it? Okay, uh, you know what? I started tattooing. Well, I, I started getting tattooed when I was fourteen, and then uh, around seventeen is when I I actually picked up doing tattooing, you know, myself, and uh, I'd always done art, and then uh, I had a bunch of crazy punk rock friends that it, it really allowed me to kind of like just tattoo all those guys, and, and you know, learn kind of I don't know in a, in a different realm where there wasn't any consequences or anything like that so I had a lot of trusting friends that knew I had already done art um, and I was you know it, it kind of took a lot of the pressure off of me like learning to tattoo and then the, those guys were going up to a guy named uh, Tim Miller who um, learned from Marty Holcomb and things like that in Columbus and was showing him a lot of my uh, tattoos that I was doing on those guys and he saw that I had potential so pretty much uh, he, he told me right out of high school to uh, come up there and start working for him. And the rest is history. After that, I, I started working for uh, Tim's Tattoo Studio right out of high school. Uh, he sold the studio when I was about 19 years old, and I, uh, I packed up with a guy named Dean DeKine, and uh, we moved out to California, and you know that began all my, my traveling and kind of really, I guess, learning more outside of just the studio that I was in at the time. You know. uh, it's uh, John Montavo. The, uh, you know John, he goes to uh, Hell City. Oh, yeah, Jonathan Montavo. Great guy. That piece is super nice. I like that a lot. Got a traditional edge to it with all the new, you know, with all the tricks and stuff. That looks great. Well, I think his work, um, aside from a, a couple tattooers, like, say, in South Virginia or, or Virginia, I, you can really tell his work from just about anybody's out there, and it has... Some of the design elements are just uh, the, the really strong use of uh, really strong highlights. I mean, they're they're present on almost every on every corner of every piece he does, and you know yeah. I can pick it out of a lineup any day. When I come into my newsfeed, I know exactly who did it. Um, and not only that, he almost always chooses to use this sort of like really not a subdued palette, but it's it, everything's very close. And then he has something jumping out at you. You know what I mean? It's just I don't know. It's a really cool blend, and it's obviously his work whenever you see it. You know. Genius. I mean, yeah. yeah. Bottom line, look at that. I mean, like how things go out of focus there. You know, 
Awesome. NickBaxter.com, yeah. for anybody that doesn't know, they should go immediately there. Yeah. That's awesome. Nick's great. Like, when he got into Dark Side, like, you know, I don't know, six months, a year into his tattoo, and everybody was like, where did this guy come from? And uh, he just has been going for it ever since. A, a, a real inspiration? Yeah, he really is. I mean, the way... It, the way his tattoos look are, are like his paintings, you know. And another thing about Nick's work is it's very, you know, well thought out, has a lot of meaning behind it, you know. So well, yeah, I mean, he's thing. very inspirational when you look at any of his work. You're, you're you're wondering what you know what's behind it. What's what's the theory of of the piece? I think uh, another hallmark of his work is too is he wears a lot of his political uh, beliefs, you know, on his sleeve when it comes to some of the work he approaches and how.